From the rainforests of South America to the coniferous forests of our home in Northern California, forests all over the world are in danger and need your help. It's up to you to be conscious of this very real danger to our Earth and to remember that we only really get one shot. The largest threat to our forests is deforestation on the part of humans. We fell trees for agriculture and urbanization. Clear-cutting is a type of deforestation which involves cutting down every tree in an area in order to completely level it. The slash-and-burn method is often used for agriculture, and it involves burning all existing vegetation in an area in order to clear land for farming. These practices disrupt the water cycle, increase greenhouse gas emissions, disrupt thousands of species, and erode the soil so that nothing can grow or exist in that area for an indefinite amount of time. Deforestation leads to a loss of habitat for millions of species. 80% of Earth's land animals and plants live in forests, and many cannot survive the deforestation that destroys their homes. This also means the endangerment and extinction of keystone species, which affects the entire community and may result in even more endangerment. Deforestation is responsible for 15% of greenhouse gas emissions and the loss of 17% of the Amazon rainforest in the last 50 years alone. The canopies of many forests protect the soil from drying out in the sun. Without this protection, the soil may be unfit to foster plant species. Water vapors ordinarily released by trees will not re-enter the atmosphere, altering the water cycle of that particular area. Trees also play a critical role in absorbing the greenhouse gases that fuel global warming. Fewer forests means larger amounts of greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere and increased speed and severity of global warming. The only way to end this ecosystem alteration is to put an end to clear-cutting and slash and burn. But how? Meet one of the millions of species affected by deforestation, the Borneo pygmy elephant. It is estimated that there are only 1,500 left in the wild, according to WWF. This puts the pygmy elephant in endangered status. Smaller than their mainland relatives, the Borneo pygmy elephant is believed to have separated over 300,000 years ago. They are extremely altruistic. They never leave another behind. In nature, the pygmy elephant rarely encounters a predator. Unfortunately, their main predator is us. Logging, urbanization, agriculture, and hunting have led to the endangerment of this species. It is crucial to the survival of an elephant that they have a large area which is sustainably kept on which to live. They must live in lowlands, and the deforestation of these lands is one of the biggest threats to elephant safety. Because the elephant's natural habitats have been cleared, they must pass through human plantations and other populated areas. And because of the booming agriculture business in Borneo, pygmy elephants have been shunted into the southern and eastern areas of Sabah. Many of these terrains are too rugged for the elephants to live. This makes the conservation of their remaining natural habitats even more crucial. Poachers also contribute to the endangerment of this species as they make a business out of killing elephants and retrieving their tusks for ivory trade. What's more, there is actually a humane way to retrieve the tusks where the tusk even grows back, but the poachers are too lazy and kill the animal. Perhaps the biggest threat to the Borneo pygmy elephant is the palm oil industry. Palm oil extraction includes the clear-cutting of forests, some of which contain the pygmy elephant. It is estimated that between 2011 and 2012, 8,000 square miles of forest were cleared in Indonesia alone, primarily for palm oil production. What's more, Borneo's leaders allow themselves to be bribed into selling agriculture permits on places that are supposedly protected. The survival of this species means nothing to those who are just trying to make money at the expense of the only earth we have. The only earth we'll ever have. It's easy to dismiss this issue because we don't notice the ways it affects us, but deforestation occurs all around us every single day. If we're not careful, it could go too far. The forests and everything they contain are worth protecting. Ask yourself how you can help. Start by being a responsible consumer. Palm oil is more common than you would think. Around 50% of all consumer goods in the U.S. contain palm oil, from lipstick and laundry detergent to chocolate and ice cream. Buying these products indirectly supports this industry. It would be impossible to cut out palm oil entirely, but knowing what to look for is the first step. Look for the RSPO, or green palm label, on products that contain palm oil. Not all palm oil production is bad. Many plantations are working hard to ensure that their product is sustainably grown and harvested. By buying products with this label, you are directly funding plantations that are working hard to ensure that they have the least environmental impact possible. Congrats! Your consumer awareness is already helping those adorable pygmy elephants. Humans and forests have to look after one another. They've protected us for hundreds of thousands of years. We cannot be responsible for their destruction. Without our natural resources, we're nothing. So act consciously. You'll thank yourself in 50 years when there are still trees to give you oxygen and California isn't underwater, you know? <laughs>